What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are staying healthy. Uh, in today's video, we are actually going to open up and take our first look at the 4K capture utility for our brand new Elgato. Now in our last video, if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll be sure to go ahead and leave a link in the description. In our last video, we talked about uh, the main difference between an Elgato HD 60S and an Elgato HD 60S Plus. The main difference being that the S Plus actually gives you 4K pass through, which means you can go ahead and play your games in 4K HDR while still recording in a crisp and good looking 1080p HDR at 60 frames a second. This is gonna be really good for you to go ahead and record stuff that you wanna make videos on for your YouTube channel while you actually get to play in 4K, or it's actually gonna be great for playing your games in 4K while still being able to stream in 1080p 60 frames a second. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Uh, again, if you guys don't know how to download this, if you don't have this installed yet, uh, we made a video for that in our last video, linked in the description. But we've got 4K capture utility right here. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now I am using uh, a couple of programs to go ahead and capture this. So let's hope that everything works fine. This is looking good. Now this is not the same from what uh, I had in the past with the other Elgatos. This is actually a lot more cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic here because I'm not gonna be using it. But uh, it's actually a lot cleaner and a lot more streamlined than some of the other software. But I'm not sure that, that I'm 100% okay with it. I guess I'm actually gonna have to go back and show you guys what the Elgato HD 60S software looks like uh, because that actually has some really cool features and you can go ahead and record and live stream with that one software. Now with this 4K capture utility, uh, you actually really only have the option to go ahead and capture. You only have the option to go ahead and record. You don't have the option to stream from the software, but that's okay because this is really meant to be used with OBS. Now, um, OBS is a great tool. It's absolutely free. If you know how to set up your settings, you can get some great video, great recordings, great streams from OBS. And that's what this 4K capture utility is meant for if you wanna go ahead and stream. But for right now, we're just gonna go over this first capture page and just go over some of the things that we've got, some of the things that we can go ahead and actually use in order to go ahead and record our gameplay. So obviously I'm not gonna be doing any gameplay right now, but uh, here on the first tab, we've got our capture uh, utility, which is right here, you can see capture. Uh, up on the top, you've got some information. You've got our source, which we are playing in uh, 2160p at 60 frames a second in HDR, and uh, we're capturing in 1080p 60 frames a second at uh, 26.7 megabytes per second. Uh, we've got 1.5 terabytes free on our computer. And then right here, we've got uh, the settings. So that's all you've got up top. We'll go over the settings uh, in another video. I just wanna make this as quickly as possible. Now down here at the bottom, uh, this is where you can actually go ahead and change the name of your recordings. So if you click on the eye icon here, you can go ahead and edit your tray here. Uh, I was playing Blackout, but in this case, if I was going to jump into Warzone, you can change the name of the game and type in Warzone, just like that and then uh, put the title to whatever it is that you want. Um, I've been playing with uh, the wife, Jade, and my cousin, so I went ahead and put a tag for family. Now that's gonna be important uh, in the future, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. So after that, you can go ahead and hit save. That will change the name of whatever it is that you're capturing for that specific file. So what you don't actually see an area for, but I really like, and I like the way they show it here, is a flashback recording. Now what that is, is this bar right here, this white bar, uh, you can actually see it over here. And what flashback recording is, is in case you missed something in the past and you wanted to record it, you can simply take your tool here and drag it back to record from whatever it is that you missed. So this is the past uh, 10, four or five minutes that we've been on so far. So that is a really cool thing. Whenever you wanna go back to what's actually on screen, you can just go ahead and click live and that will show you guys what's actually happening on screen right now. Obviously, if you wanna go ahead and record, you can press the record button. We'll show you a little bit of that in a second. This shows you how long you've had your software open for, or whenever you click the record button, it will also show you how long you've been recording for. 
So you press record, you press it again, it stops recording, that's your capture. Now over here, we've got a very simple tool. This is a screenshot tool, which I can actually go ahead and show you guys how that works right now. I'm not actually sure where it's going to go. So we're gonna check this out together. Again, this is my first time playing around with the software. But if we wanted to go ahead and capture this screenshot for a thumbnail, for a title video, or whatever it is that you want, you can simply go ahead and click on take a screenshot and that should pop it up here. You guys can see that open up real quick here. And there you guys go. You can open this and you can use this to make your thumbnails and whatnot. So that's actually a really cool, nice little feature that I think every Elgato has. So I think that's really nice. We're going to go ahead and delete this because we don't need it right now. Now, right here, we've got our microphone. Now, again, because this is meant to be used with OBS, there are not so many settings. And again, we'll talk about this in a follow up video. But as you guys can see, as I'm talking here, uh, you can see that my mic is actually on by the red little dot that's flashing. And whenever I talk, you guys can see the bars going up and down. I'm obviously not going to actually be using the software right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now here, I've got this muted, but this is your sound monitoring. That's what it's called. So you actually get to hear what your TV sounds like so that you can make sure that you're actually capturing the audio that you want. So that's very, very cool. That is basically the capture page here. In our next video, we're gonna go ahead and go over the library. But before we go ahead and do that, let me go ahead and just capture um, a few seconds so that I can have a quick video to show you guys in the next one. Now, as you guys can see, I pressed record the timer started over and this is how long we've been recording for another great way to actually go ahead and tell whether or not you're recording is number one this is going to be flashing the red ball is going to be flashing but also whenever you're recording you can see a recording dot on your 4k area down here so we've been recording for about 25 seconds i'm going to go ahead and stop it now and whenever that's done that will go into your library which is what we're going to go ahead and talk about next so if you guys like this video again this is just a quick overview of the elgato hg60 s plus so in our next video we'll go ahead and go into the library see how that works and then finally we'll go into the settings as well if you guys like this video or anything else that i do please consider liking sharing and subscribing and we will see you guys on the next video